Hi, in this video from Suvi Eye Hospital, Kota, Rajasthan, we show you a series of three cases of white mature cataracts where the surgery has been done without using any preoperative dilating drops and instead using intracameral 1% preservative free lignocaine which has been used to achieve pupillary dilatation. Also in these three white cataracts, uh, no dye has been used for doing the capsular excess and all the cases have been successfully performed using 0% effective phacotine. This is the first case here. As you can see, the pupil is quite small and this is a white mature cataract. And after making the side port incision, intracameral 1% lidocaine preservative free about 0.2 to 0.3 cc is injected into the anterior chamber and as you can see here the pupil is slowly dilating and here the pupil is almost mid dilated. This dilatation that has been achieved by lidocaine can be further supplemented by using an ophthalmic viscoelastic device which achieves further pupillary dilatation and now here the pupil is fairly well dilated to enable the performance of a successful phacoemulsification. This is the capsular excess which is being done without using a dye and here the capsular excess has been completed. Now this is the ellipse transversal phaco that is being used to uh, emulsify the nucleus and notice here that no phaco power is being used. This is just the mechanical chopping action using the phaco to hold the nucleus and the chopper to make pieces out of that nucleus and here this is the complete emulsification of this white nucleus and then after a standard irrigation aspiration to remove the remaining lens matter and we inject a sensor one piece IOL here which is being injected through an injector and here the IOL goes into the bag and is fairly well centered and now the viscoelastic is being removed from under the IOL using a bimanual irrigation aspiration. And as you can see here at the end of the surgery, the IOL is very well centered and the eye looks very clean. And we then inject 0.1 cc of uh, intracameral moxifloxacin here or Vigamox at the end of the case. Now this is the second case which is again a white mature cataract and here as you can see this is the uh, small pupil here and this is the pupillary reaction in response to light so this is the sphincter muscle that is acting well and then we inject 0.2 to 0.3 cc of intracameral 1% preservative free lidocaine into the anterior chamber. The intracameral lidocaine causes a transient paralysis of the pupillary sphincter muscle and therefore now you can see the pupil is dilating fairly rapidly and this dilatation can be further increased by using an ophthalmic viscoelastic device. The technique device. of using uh, lidocaine is very useful in cases where uh, patients may have allergy to the use of pre-operating dilating uh, drops and uh, also when uh, there is not sufficient time for whatever reason to achieve a pup satisfactory pupillary dilatation before the surgery. And again this is the capsular excess in the white cataract without using a capsular dye. And now this is the transverse ellipse phaco again uh, to emulsify the nucleus and again as you notice here no power is being used and with 0% effective phaco time the nucleus is being emulsified using the uh, phaco to hold the nucleus and the chopper to make small pieces and to feed them into the phaco and this is a thickness 3 piece IOL which is being injected into the eye uh, using an injector and here as you can see this is being injected into the capsular bag and is now well centered and then again uh, we remove the viscoelastic from the capsule, uh, capsular bag and especially from under the IOL and this is the end of the surgery the incision is being sealed and again finally we use 0.1 cc of intracameral moxifloxacin or Vigamox at the end of surgery. Now this is the third and final case, again a white mature cataract, as you can see the pupil is reacting very briskly in response to the bright light of the microscope and again after making the side port incision we inject 0.3 cc of 1% preservative free lidocaine to achieve pupillary dilatation 
this lidocaine causing a transient paralysis of the sphincter muscle the pupillary dilatation achieved is almost instantaneous as you can see here and the pupil has dilated sufficiently uh, to enable a uh, surgery but this dilatation can be further supplemented and enhanced by using a viscoelastic device as seen here and then the surgery can pre proceed as usual and again this is the capsular rexis being performed without using any capsular dye and then again the management of the nucleus without using any phaco power and with 0% EPT the nucleus has been successfully broken into multiple pieces and has been emulsified and is being removed and again this is a three piece thickness IOL which is being implanted into this patient using the emerald injector and as you can see here the IOL is being implanted into the bag and is now fairly well centered viscoelastic being removed from under the IOL and at the end of the surgery we again inject intracameral 0.1 cc of moxifloxacin so as you have seen here intracameral lidocaine is a good technique to achieve pupillary dilatation in cases where the use of preoperative dilating drops uh, is contraindicated for any reason especially if the patient has allergy to these drops or for other problems and it achieves a very good dilatation and performs uh, enables the performance of a successful surgery thank you